Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M44, it's the Tier 6 American SPG, and this one's located on the south spawn of Prokhorovka, under the command of Bishkrieg. Now he's got one mark of excellence on his barrel, so he's got quite a lot of experience in this arty. 155mm gun mounted on a chassis that comes from a Walker Bulldog, the M41. The M44 is quite an adept RT. It's got a massive fire rate. Well, one shell every 16.1 seconds if you've got brothers in arms and premium consumables. And Bish Creek's moving off to the bushes near the railway line. It's also quite a mobile RT. You can play it very mobile if you want. And that makes it very dangerous to the enemy. He's gone straight into a bush. But he's aiming towards the enemy and he's in overhead view. Now he's looking at the center line, waiting for the first enemy tank to come to view. The M44 has a swivel mount turret, which means that the gun is mounted in a, in a mount that can actually swivel through quite a wide arc, which means that the vehicle doesn't actually have to move that far in order to hit any virtually any area of the map. So you get very little reticule bloom when moving the gun about between different targets which are within the arc. At the moment he's focusing on the center line of the map. And the first enemy has appeared but he's had to move the vehicle because it's just outside the arc. It's a T28E with the F30 gun. Now that's a premium medium round out and he gets a hit. 53 hit points of splash for that first round. And T28's lost about ooh, half his hit points. Lining up another shot for him. Almost ready. Round out. And he's killed it! First kill of the game goes to him. Now the Matildas within the Arc of Fire. 370 hit points. He's not going to do very nicely if the shell hits him. The 155mm can do alpha damage of 550. It's only got a penetration of 39mm though and the armour on the Matilda is actually quite strong. So it's probable that he wouldn't have penetrated it but he might have splashed it. And HE does do module damage. And that KV85 is about to find out what module damage is all about. And that round landed in front of him. So again, it would have been splash damage. Got a 14 TP in the center as well. But the enemy over this side, which is um, a Crusader, is outside the arc. So he's had to move the vehicle. Lining up a shot. Round out. Oh, he didn't pull back far enough. The Crusader, he expected the Crusader to keep pulling back, but he didn't. But here we've got two enemy tanks close together. It's right at the edge of the arc, so if they keep moving further south, he might have to move the vehicle again. He's lost sight of them, so he's gone back to that 14 TP. Dialing in the aim. It does dial in fairly quickly. As you can see, round out. And it's a kill shot! He's got the 14 ton tank. Now we still haven't seen that uh, Matilda again and that may have been because the Matilda actually did take sub substantial damage during that last shot. There's a T-3485. Again, he moved, the, he moved the aim point rather rapidly and that's why he got reticule bloom but he stalled in and fired around it. Gets a direct hit on the front of that T-34. Picks up 161 hit points there. There's the Matilda. Oh, he was badly damaged. Yes, he did take a big hit for at least a third of his hit points with that last round. Round out. And the Matilda's killed before the shell arrives. But I'm pretty sure that would have been a direct hit to wipe him out. Okay, he's looking for that T-3485 again. He's loaded. I think his reload's about 17 seconds or so. He probably does have BIA, but uh, he's not using premium consumables, so you would need to use that to drop the reload time to 16.1 seconds. There's the T-34. Oh, he moved the vehicle just and suddenly realized, oh no, there's a better target. This is a far better target to aim at. Lines up the shot, rounds out. That's a hit. 
direct hit, 189, and our SUA, SAU 40 is going after him. He's crossed the railway line. That T3485 is not going to last very long. The SAU just took a round. Oh, he went down to the KV85, but we're firing in at the T34 and wipe him out. That's the third kill. 67 hit points. So at least we got some compensation there. We're two tanks behind at the moment. Right, we've got a Crusader up on top of the hill. We're almost loaded. Rounds in the chamber. Round out. That was close. And it landed short, but it actually did do some damage. And the Crusader's been killed. 101 hit points of damage from the shot. And 110 from the damage assist, the stun assist. Right, there is a Wolverine on the enemy side on the east, but I think he's a bit further back. That's the M10 Wolverine. I should call it the M10, actually, because uh, they, the Americans didn't call it the Wolverine at all. It's the British who called it the Wolverine. Now, he's moved forward into the next set of bushes. That avoids counter-battery. There is an M44 in the enemy team and a bishop. Uh, but we haven't heard from either of those yet so far in this game. I'm not sure why he's driving over here, but it may be he's decided that it's better to be on the west side of the map. Now, it'll be perfectly safe driving in front of the PP. Of course, his gun was raised, so he's actually aiming at the enemy at this moment. And uh, Bishkrieg is going to find a new firing position over on the uh, west side of the map to engage those heavies. They're still in service. The M44 is still in service with the Turkish army at the moment. Okay. P2640, tier 4 Italian. And he's killed. Right, there is a T34S further up ahead. Okay, a Kamenet's engaged. And there's a Bishop. Okay, we can hit him. Slow moving, based on the Valentine chassis. It's got a 4.5 inch gun, but it's got a very short range. Very slow to move about, round out, and... Oh, it's a hit! 224, and he's been killed. He was killed by the 40 TP, so he picked up the Sun Assist. Okay, there's the enemy M44. He's located in the rear next to a KV-1. We're loaded. We're dialing in and round out. Now, hopefully this will be a kill shot. Oh, it landed to one side. Unfortunately, it didn't kill, but it must have splash damaged the M44. If he can get another round in there quickly, he might kill him. Oh, there's some damage going on there. That would indicate one of the vehicles has pulled away. There's the KV-1. He pulled away. Round out. And he, it was a splash at the rear. 127 from that one. And there he is. He's still moving. We haven't seen the M44 again. Round out. It's going to be a bit behind. Yep. Too far behind. Right, there's a 14 TP there. That's a one-shot kill. And yes, he's gone down. The KV-1's making his way to the railway crossing because there's a Panzer 3-4 there. So we can intercept him with a shell. Round out. A bit, a bit late. It's going to be behind. Yep, again. You need to remember he's at the other end of the battlefield. So there's a, a, a time delay of about four seconds between firing and the shell arriving. But this KV-1 is going to go up on top of the railway line to shoot at the Panzer 3 4 And when he does, he'll be spotted and we can fire into him. Now, he's not going to move, want to move too far over the railway line because then, of course, he's committed to the attack on the Panzer 3 4 And it also means he'll be in constant view of our gun. Now, we're one ahead on the scores at the moment. There's the KV-1. Oh, he was unspotted as he went over the railway line. He's down near the river. Lining up a shot. Round out. That should be on target. Oh, just a little late, but it's tracked him. The Panzer 3-4 is going in to do some damage. The KV-1's aiming at him. We're almost loaded. If the Panzer 3-4 doesn't shoot, we will. Round out. It's going to land behind him. Oh, it did, but it certainly did a lot of damage. 142 hit points from that one. 
and he's stunned and he's taken out and finished off by our PP. And the 40 ton, the 40 TP was appreciative of that because we've got a tick. So that was a good mark for the Fifi. That means there are now four enemies remaining. And there are two of them, the KV-85 and the T-40. The KV-85 is a one shot, round out. And that's a kill. 140 hit points, that's the fourth kill. There are now three enemies remaining. The M44, the Hetzer and the T-40. We're moving or changing position again. Now their Hetz has just killed our 40 TP. So they've clawed one back. Now the logic is that we own the right of the east side of the battlefield. And by going up on the east side, at least he's got a little advance warning if the enemy's going to be coming in this direction, but he's fairly safe. If somebody was coming down the west side of the map, we wouldn't know, have known about it, because the T-34S has moved away from the west side, now in the sort of like central area of the map. So by doing what he did, he actually is uh, protecting himself just in case the uh, uh, Hexer decides to go south. We know where the T-40 was last seen, and we know where the M-44 was last seen. But neither of them are in contact with our forces at the moment. There's the M44. He's been spotted. Okay, dialing in. Oh, he's killed before we can shoot. Panzer 3-4 got the honours there. And there's the heads up. Lining up the shot. Dialing in. Round out. It's going to be close. Oh, it's a kill. 173. And, oh, we just lost our T-34S to the T-40. We're reloading, and we're getting closer. I think we're going to dive into the water to cut through the river, get to the other side. Try to move as quickly as we can. The 3 is coming back to the uh, dip next to the uh, railway tracks, which is a safe area. You can shoot hull down from that position. Or is he moving towards the cap now? Yeah, he is. Now, he's gone into the cap, but it's a bit of a dangerous position. He is a one-shot. The T-40 will be able to kill him. And there's the T-40. And we're not in a position to shoot just yet. Oh, we just lost the 3-4. Now, that's what I was worried about. Lining up a shot. And... Round out. Kill shot! That wins the game! 163 hit points. That's a top gun. Nice game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Ace of first class tanker for Bish Creek in the M44. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 26. He got a gauze medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. A top gun for getting at least six kills. And he got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. At least 20% of the enemy hit points over 1,000 hit points in total. So let's have a look at the team score. There you go. 2,266 hit points of damage. Next highest scorer was the M10 on the enemy team, managed 1,116. Uh, then we had the KV-85 with 981, and then came the T-34 shielded with 980. When it came to kills, it was Bish Creek who was highest with six kills. Then we had two tanks on the enemy team with three kills apiece, the KV-85 and the T-40. And then there's a whole slew of tanks with two kills each. When it came to base XP, it was still Bish Creek, top of the table 1063 so he's got top on all three categories the next highest score was panzer 3-4 managed 665 and then we've got t-34 shielded with 649 he fired 21 rounds during that battle he got seven direct hits seven penetration 12 splash damage of 2266 hit points all at more than 300 meters he hit 11 of the enemy killed six of them and did damage assistance of 114 hit points and stun assistance of 275 hit points off 13 stuns. 
on a premium account he earned 41,739 credits and he had a personal reserves bonus running for the same time of 20,870 so the total came to 62,609 credits in total uh, after ammunition resupply he had 52,004 credits left over so this is why the M44 is such a good credit earner even off a, a reasonable battle and this was a good battle you can still pick up thousands of credits which can uh, help you with other games he received 1,595 XP times 2 for the first victory and a personal reserves bonus for 100% running so he took away 4,785 experience points altogether from that battle very good round there by Bish Creek. Thanks for sending in the replay. Um, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.